A computer network is a group of two or more computers. You can build a simple computer network using only two computers. Or you can connect thousands of computers in a complex network. Computer networking is a subject that explains the process and things you need to build computer networks. We build computer networks mainly for three things. These things are data sharing, resources sharing and application sharing. Let's understand these things in detail. Data sharing allows us to exchange data between connected devices. If devices are connected to the network, they can exchange data directly. If they are not connected to the network, they have to use third-party tools to exchange data. Let's take an example. Suppose two users exchange data regularly. To exchange data, they follow these steps. The first user attaches an external device such as CD, DVD or USB drive to his system and transfer data on it. He gives the external device to the second user. The second user connects the external device to his system. After that, he can read or save data from that external device. If they exchange data 100 times a day, they must follow these steps 100 times a day which is neither convenient nor appropriate. In that case, networking is a better solution. Once networking is in place, they can exchange any amount of data between connected devices at any time without using any external devices. Resources sharing allows us to reduce the required number of devices in the network. By sharing the devices, we can reduce the number of required components in the network. Let's understand this with a simple example. There are four computers in a small office. Computers are not connected. Each computer generates some print jobs daily. To meet the print requirement of each computer, we have to buy four printers, one for each. By connecting these computers through networking, we can reduce the required number of printers up to one. Once networking is done, only one printer will be sufficient to meet the print requirement of all computers. When we reduce the number of required devices, the cost of the network is also reduced. In the preceding example, without networking the network needs four printers. But if the networking is used, it needs only one printer. By using networking, the network can save the cost of three printers. In simple networking, we cannot share all devices. Based on sharing, we can categorize devices into two types. Shareable and non-shareable. Shareable devices are devices that we can share on the network such as hard disks, printers, modems, scanners, CDs, DVDs, USBs, etc. Non-shareable devices are devices that we cannot share on the network such as CPU, RAM, motherboard, monitor, etc. Advanced networking techniques, such as cloud computing, allow us to share any resource including the CPU and the RAM but they need lots of additional hardware resources and configurations. Just like data and resources, we can also share applications. In application sharing, an application is installed in two parts, server application and client application. Both parts are respectively used to provide and request services and data. Let's take a simple example. A user connects his system to the internet and watches a video on YouTube. YouTube which provides the requested video is an example of a server application. The browser or app the user uses to watch the video is an example of a client application. Application sharing is mainly used in a company environment. In companies, a project is usually assigned to several users or a team. Networking allows concerned users or members to work on the assigned project simultaneously. Besides this, it is also used for troubleshooting and accessing a networking device or a computer remotely. Networking is complicated. To set up a network, you need special networking devices such as cables, switches, routers. Apart from these, you also need to configure each computer to connect to the network. You should set up a network only when you need it. For example, if you want to set up a network for data sharing, you should do it only if you share a large amount of data or do it frequently. If you only need to share some files between two PCs, connecting them to a network is a worthless idea. A computer network is made up of four essential components. These components are end devices, media, protocols, and networking devices. Let's discuss these components in detail. End devices. An end device is a device that sends or receives data in the network. It can be a PC, laptop, smartphone, or any other device that is capable of sending and receiving data and is connected to the network. To build a network, we need at least two end devices. Media. The media provides connectivity between the end devices. 
unless end devices are connected through media, they cannot exchange data or services. Mainly there are two types of media, wireless media and wired media. In wireless media, radio signals are used to transfer data between end devices whereas in wired media, the data is transferred through cables. Both media types are further classified into several subtypes. Subtypes are categorized based on various factors such as length, data transfer speed, used metal, frequency band, etc. The Ethernet defines the standards for wired media. The IEEE defines the standards for wireless media. Protocols A protocol is a set of predefined rules that specify standards for a particular stage or all stages of communication. Protocols enable communication between two or more end devices. They initialize and terminate the communication process, perform encryption and compression before sending the data, pack data in such a format that it can travel across the network, provide logical addressing, error correction, and perform authentication. There are two popular networking models, the OSI reference model and the TCP IP model. Both describe the functionalities of the most common protocols. They divide the communication process into logical layers and explain how the protocols work in each layer. Networking device. A networking device works between the end devices. It controls and forwards the flow of data. Based on the functionalities, a networking device can be categorized into three types, forwarding device, connecting device, and securing device. A forwarding device forwards the data. This device usually has multiple ports that connect two more end devices in a single network. Hub, bridge, and ethernet switch provide this functionality. A connecting device connects two or more different types of media and protocols. If two end devices are located in different logical networks or connected through different media types, they need a connecting device to exchange the data. Routers and multilayer switches provide this functionality. A securing device secures the data from an authorized access. When it receives a data packet, based on predefined rules, it performs security checks and takes the forwarding decision. Firewalls and NAT are examples of securing devices. That's all for this video. In this video, we learned about computer networking. If you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback about this video, please share them in the comment section.